So how common is bladder leakage if you didn't give birth or have kids? That is actually a really popular question, both to myself and on Google. So let's dive in and answer that. Um, but first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos. So bladder leakage is actually quite common in women that have not had children or have not given birth. Um, they suggest that about one in five women without giving birth have experienced incontinence. So that's about 20%. Um, so it's actually quite high. There was a research study that actually looked at childbirth as a cause of incontinence for women who were post-menopause. So how they did the study was they found sisters, so sisters, pairs of women that where one sister had had at least one vaginal birth and the other sister had not had any children. And so they studied the relationship between those two sisters. Um, and what they found was there was actual no significant difference between the sisters for developing incontinence post menopause. Um, they actually found two out of the three pairs of sisters had the same fate. So either both pairs did not have any incontinence or both pairs um, did, uh, regardless of whether they had kids or not. So suggesting that there is more of a hereditary component to it rather than just blaming children. Now, this study looked at, again, it's more looking at the relationship for postpartum women as opposed, or sorry, postmenopause women as opposed to just postpartum. We do know that clearly having kids immediately in that postpartum window will make us more prone to incontinence, but does not necessarily mean that in those postmenopause periods, so later in life, um, that, that, that will necessarily be something that you have to suffer with. Now, there are plenty of factors or plenty of cases where younger women who have not had children still have incontinence episodes. Um, these are probably due to a various different risk factors. So some risk factors for developing continence, regardless of children, are your core strength or coordination. So we know core strength is important for keeping continent, but not only that is it's our coordination. Coordination meaning that your, your core is, should be contracting and relaxing in a coordinated way with each other. Your core is made up of four different muscles. Your pelvic floor is one of them. Your transverse abdominal, which is a deep abdominal muscle, is another. Our diaphragm, which is our breathing muscle. And then we also have one in the back called your multifidus. So those four muscles are supposed to work in coordination with each other as they contract and relax together. And that helps us to maintain con continence. And so if they become uncoordinated or stop working together, that can be a reason why we might suffer from some leakage. Um, low back pain. So low back pain is known as a contributing factor for women and incontinence. And I don't, I forget the statistic for you, but it's a huge statistics that say, um, women that suffer from back pain, a huge percentage of them also have leaking episodes, and that is regardless of children or not. Impact athletes. There's actually studies that look at younger females and impact activities or sports like gymnastics, like track and field, like running, um, and actually show that those girls have higher instances of incontinence as opposed to the regular population and possibly probably due to the extra impact that is getting put down through your pelvic floor with those activities. Um, and then another risk factor is just having pelvic floor tension or pelvic floor tightness. Things like having higher stress levels, having weaker glute muscles, um, clenching our belly in, clenching our glute muscles when we're standing. Um, those are all reasons that might give us a tight pelvic floor and a tight pelvic floor does not respond well to activity and makes us a lot more prone to having incontinence symptoms. So I hope you feel like you are not alone in asking this question and that if you are someone who has not had children and are having leakage, um, that it is actually quite common. It's not normal, but it is quite common. Um, and there is lots of things that you can do. 
If you're interested in learning more about things that you should be doing for your pelvic floor, um, check out the link that I posted in the description below. It's going to go, it's a link to a few of my free pelvic floor resources that you can check out. Um, you can also check out any of my other YouTube videos for your pelvic floor. Thanks for watching.